Hey guys, this is the video where I tell you about all the special new Crown Tundra clothing items, hats, and other stuff, and how to get them right here in this video. Guys, in the Crown Tundra, a lot of cool new things dropped. Some of them are easy to get, okay? Some things you're just gonna get from playing the game, just naturally and normally. But I'm here to tell you about some of the things that are a little less obvious and show you case, showcase them to you as well, so you get to see what they look like as well. So this will be pretty cool to just see the new fashionable items and just understanding how to get the difficult ones. One thing that's important to note guys, I'm not going to talk about all the new clothes that were added to the stores. You just have to go to the store to just buy them. It's that simple, including the hairstyles as well. You just literally go to the, the hair salon and the store to just buy the clothes and new stuff. There's a lot of new stuff, all right? But I'm gonna just talk about the, specifically the special stuff. For our first item, guys, is the Hex Nut Cap. This cap is something you can get straight away when you go into the Crown Tundra, so long as you have a particular Pokemon in your box. And that Pokemon has to be Meltan. You could have gotten a Meltan of various ways from Pokemon Go, transferred to Pokemon Let's Go, and then to Pokemon Home, and then Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, this is stuff we know from ages ago. But you'll get this cap if you speak to the woman who gives you the Pokedex upgrade in the train station. Once you arrive to Crown Tundra, there's a bunch of people there. It's literally just the woman in the white shirt. She'll give you, give you the upgrade for your Crown Tundra, your decks, and she'll be surprised that you have the Hexnut and Pokemon Meltan in your box. And as a reward, similar to what happens with Zarude in the Isle of Armor, if you go to the woman in the train station in the Isle of Armor with Zarude, you get a special Ash Cap, which you've seen, you guys have seen me wearing for a long time. This is no different. It's a similar case with Meltan, and there it is. She thinks it's cute. That's the new hat for you guys. There you have it. Next up is this new crown. This crown is a little different to the other crown from when you finished your Isle of Armor decks and I guess you guys can guess what this crown is for. Yeah, it's finishing the crown tundra decks and you get it from the same woman that gives you the hex nut cap. The woman in the train station, the woman who gives you the decks. It's exactly the same as the Isle of Armor. It's just a different crown, a little different style. If in case you guys forgot, this is the Isle of Armor crown. Just to show you the difference, I think I prefer the Crown Thunder one, to be honest. So guys, get cracking on your Pokedex so you'll be able to pick up this fabulous piece of gaudy hardware. Here we have the Gold Expedition Uniform, guys. You do start off with the regular Expedition Uniform, which I didn't think was worth showing off because you just get handed it at the very beginning of Crown Thunder. Now, interestingly, the Gold Expedition Uniform is something you get after you've beaten three stages out of four of the story. And it looks very, very shiny, very bling, and actually goes quite well with the black stuff from the Star Tournament that we got, that I showed you, or will be showing you next. <laughs> you know you're about to get it after Peony tries to have a heart-to-heart -heart with his daughter, as his daughter shows up out of the blue after you've finished all these quests. He tries to hand her this new uniform that he's been keeping away from you, and she doesn't like it. She actually goes off and just straight up gives it to you. I mean, they still having the attitude thing, the whole problem, you know, it's things like this <laughs> that she doesn't like. So she gives it to us and we can wear it, and you got the Gold Expedition uniform, you see it on screen right there. It is also a part of just doing the story, you will just get it in during doing the story so i thought i'd include it because it does kind of look a little wacky and people have been questioning it i think a lot of you guys are not this far in the story yet however you will be soon enough so that's the gold uniform this right here is the new Galarian Star Tournament sports uniform that you win if you win your first Galarian Star Tournament. A lot of people were asking me, what are these clothes that, they, that I was wearing while I was streaming this today? And well, that's your answer. A lot of people's comments, hopefully, if you watch this video, will be putting put at ease, finally. All you have to do is beat the main story and you will gain access to the Galarian Star Tournament and you will then gain access to this outfit right here. After beating the thing, and you're gonna watch some credits and some Wooloo roll around too, uh, you're just gonna end up going back to the counter, just like you remember when you do the normal competition where you get ball guy rewards and stuff. It's no different for Galar Tournament here. The Galar Store Tournament, you also get ball guy gifts, and they seem to be, sadly, the same gifts based off of just so far what I've seen. Although the first time you do it, the guy at the counter is just automatically going to be there ready for you. He's going to give you something to commemorate your victory. It's a sports uniform. It's literally this uniform that I just showed you on top of 1 million in currency as well, if that's use to anybody else. So. 
Next up, we're going to talk about some final items, guys. It looks like these few items now are something you'll be able to get from doing the Dynamax Raid Adventures, or the Dynamax Adventures. Now, these are the blue futuristic glasses. These were one pair that Nia herself gave them to me. And actually, if you notice the footage here, you'll see Nia doing this kind of motion after you've accomplished something in the Dynamax Adventures every now and then, and she'll give you a gift. Uh, after, even even if she's trying to sell you a place for Dynite Ore, you can actually still say no, you don't have to buy it. You can say no and talk to her again and she'll give you a gift often. It doesn't always necessarily have to be clothes, but there are quite a few items of clothes this way. We just got the blue futuristic shades in this clip right here. So that's not the only piece of clothes she gave me. She does give yellow, she, same version, and she also gives some other stuff too. Another example is this, the yellow monocle, and that is another item of clothing we got. And and there's still more guys. I actually haven't even gotten all of the things from her because it does take quite a few Dynamax dances. She doesn't give you something every time and sometimes it's not even closed. Sometimes it's Pokemon. Yeah, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> but anyway, there are some cool items to get from her from there. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's it for the special gear though. So that's it for the special items guys. Even if you aren't finished yet, always talk to Nia after every single Dynamax raid. That's very important because that is where you're going to get a lot of the items as well. I'll still be finishing off my collection with that too as uh, so I wasn't able to showcase everything but you guys will be able to get different things different people have gotten different things in different orders they're not pre-scripted orders so you will be able to get them randomly from her as well as some other special gifts but anyway guys if you enjoyed this and you enjoyed seeing all the cool stuff please do drop a subscribe so you can see more cool stuff tomorrow I'll see you guys around and for the next video there's a lot of videos to do so hopefully you guys check them out appreciate you being here see you in the next one bye